Um, Hari asks, that's an interesting question. Thanks, Hari. Hari asks, is it correct that after every October, there is a good chance of forward jump in the priority date? So let me back up and answer what that, analyze what that question means. So uh, the Visa Bulletin is a timeline system that they've set up where you have a preference-based green card. So this is family-based green cards or employment-based green cards or even the diversity visa lottery, which doesn't come to play what we're talking about here. But um, the employment-based or family-based other than immediate relatives, um, there's a timeline called the Visa Bulletin. There's charts that say, um, you know, cases filed, for example, in January 2020, we're giving green cards now. Or cases filed in February 2015, we're giving green cards now. And people can follow that up. It's updated every month. The way the government works is um, they said every year, only a, every fiscal year, this term fiscal year is very important, they're only going to give out a certain number of green cards. So let's say they'll only give out a, a million green cards every year. And the fiscal year in the United States, and I already said this is getting too complicated, the fiscal year ends on October 1st, it restarts on October 1st. So normally our years goes from January to December, the government goes from like September to October, October to September like that in a full year. So once we hit October 1st, that's a new year for the government, and that's when the, the number of green cards being counted gets restarted. So there is usually is, a, um, and in many cases, there is a jump and a rejiggering of how the visa timelines occur in October 1st. And this is very important because people, when they ask me how long things take, I don't know what's going to happen October 1st. We might have a huge jump forward. We could also have huge jumps backwards too. So uh, October 1st is somewhat of a reset. Things do change a lot there. Um, whether it's to be a jump forward or not on the priority date, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but there are changes that happen. But that just goes to show how it's impossible for anybody to guess the future because these things change quite dramatically. Because at that time, they analyzed how many green cards we gave last year, how many this year, and, and just reset things. And it could change drastically. For example, right now, um, there's a lot of people from China who request the EB-5 Immigrant Investor Program. But because the embassy shut down in China for many months now, um, they are not issuing green cards there. So the green cards that would have gone to Chinese people, if they don't get used up for that category B5, they start getting uh, distributed to other visa categories. So all of a sudden, all these people who like Indians in EB2 category will start getting a little more visas from those EB5s that didn't get used. So this is like a calculation that we don't have control over. It's an algorithm that they know the numbers, they don't share with us. And if they did, who's gonna go and count these things? It makes no point, there's no, there's no profit for anyone else other than the government to do it, other than maybe a watchdog to make sure they're doing it right. Uh, but uh, it, there's huge changes that happen every month in the system, especially when the fiscal year changes at the end of September. Um, so that's, uh, that's an interesting question to ask. Yeah, that's true. Um, this is just, uh, I guess usually clients don't ask about this stuff, some lawyers know, but it was, a, it was a fun question to answer. The fiscal year ends at the end of September. There's some reset that happens, so timelines do jump around a lot. So if you are worried about how long things are taking, look forward to October. Hopefully, you'll get some good news for a little bit of a jump forward. Uh, thank you, Harvard, for that interesting question. Is there any fixed date um, every month releasing Visa Bulletin or is it random? Typically, the Visa Bulletin, uh, this is the State Department's timeline of how where the visas are, are released at the beginning of every month, but it's not consistent. I think it was in May where they took like a week or two longer than usual to do it. Uh, they have a whole system there to analyze how the Visa Bulletin chart is going to be. Sometimes, especially right nowadays, because the whole system is kind of messed up because of coronavirus. They're not getting the numbers in time, the calculations are off, this and that. Um, that's going longer, but there's no like exact date. It's just usually at the beginning of every month they issue the visa bulletin for the future month.